All right, here I'm again. Uh, I forgot to mention a couple of things about the um, marking uh, enemies on the map with the map tools. And I actually had a little discussion about it with Spoon, and um, he uh, had some extra questions, I, uh, and I brought up something I didn't mention in the previous video. So uh, we'll talk about that right now. Uh, first of all, here is uh, approximate cross section of this uh, this area here, illustrated on the map. So you know, um, this is the uh, altitude. Yeah, double H, why not one double H? Anyway, so the camper again is here, this this place, and the car marker is here, that is this place, and here we can see that the uh, altitude of the uh, ground uh, decreases while moving south from Camper Gain, first a bit steeper, till the road, then a bit more, till the lowest point, which is around here, and then it will uh, increase again to the little hill, I guess, at which the small compound with the car wreck is. Um, all right. So now to the things I didn't mention before. So if I hold R and release, I get the uh, direct distance to the car, so that's 400 meters, 449 I think. So that would be this distance here. But uh, that's not how map works. For the map, you would need this distance here, because in the map, well, the map is 2D, it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, handle with the altitude that way. And here we can see it's actually some pretty simple math or geometry about the uh, uh, straight angled triangles, or how they are called in English. So, we don't really do anything with this uh, distance here, that is I get by holding R. So instead, I want to double tap R and release to get the uh, values for the uh, cathetes I just drew. So basically this, in this practical example, is the um, map distance. I guess I could call it map distance. 443 meters. And this one here is the altitude difference between my location and location I just laced. So basically, if my location is A, the location of the car, I mean, no, no, no. If my altitude is A, the altitude of the car would then be A minus 70. And that's why there's the minus. It's really simple. And the one I got before by holding R, is the hypotenuse. And as you see here, the difference will just increase uh, the further the target is. Or actually, the distance itself doesn't really affect necessarily the uh, uh, error. Like, let's see, what is the inclination is almost zero degrees. If I double, I mean tap, uh, tabulate it five times, use R to change the uh, angular unit, and then double that, or tap tabulate five times again, I get the mills, and here we can find the exact. So around here, for example, that's, let's see, that's it. That's in my two clicks away, and I measured the direct angle or the real distance, so to speak. So I'll just hold R and release. And here we have 2014 meters. Now, if I double tap R and release, I get 2015 meters. And uh, the altitude difference is only one meter. So the higher the difference in elevation between your location and the location you are uh, lacing or measuring is, uh, the greater the error for the um, 
uh, for the direct measuring is. Uh, that should be pretty clear. So that's why with uh, high elevation differences you want to use the uh, double tap R instead of just R. Of course if the target is far and lower the differences will also be great but it's really only the uh, it's really only the altitude just ask me on discord or on the comments i guess if that left you unclear i can't be bothered to actually edit this video all right so that was the uh, I guess the uh, error from measuring the direct distance instead of the map distance. Uh, so the other topic, which I actually forgot it even existed while I knew it. So I think the easiest way to make sure that you turn your uh, map tools correctly is to just, uh, instead of measuring, okay, so I first do it the difficult way. So okay, I measured the uh, direction. Oh, well, it's in mils now. Uh, it doesn't matter. 31.68. So here for the mills you look for the outer ring. 31, 31 is here. 31, 30, 31.40, 31.60, 31.68 is around here. And that's accurate enough, really. But easier way to do this would be just uh, while you are on the map and facing the target so two important things i need to face towards the target first then when i go to the map self interaction map tools and align map tool to compass equals align map tools to the di right direction the compass is currently showing equals the direction you are currently facing so align map tools to compass and we should see the uh, map tool moving just a tiny bit. We'll see. Okay, it barely moved. Because my measurement was accurate enough. But you can just do it like this. And that will do the same. So you don't really have to uh, uh, measure the uh, direction for the target. So you can just measure the distance. Okay, let's see. Again, since the target clearly isn't at our level, I'll double top R, release, and get 444 four, four meters. Well, yeah, first things first, my current location isn't really accurate. So <laughs> that's, that's already a fail there, kind of. Let's do it properly now. That's accurate enough. It's only a couple of meters error here. Um, so, aim at the target, measure distance. For, oh, yeah, you might want to make sure you aim at the right target. So, I aimed at the bush earlier, I believe. I don't know. 450 meters. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. I did it wrong again. Double tap R instead. 444 meters, that's the right distance. So there's the difference of 5 meters, which is barely anything. It's really insignificant when marking targets like this, just for the information's sake. Self interaction, map tools, align map tool to compass. Four hundred forty-five meters, four hundred ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 44 meters. That's where the car really is. And we can check it out. This time it's not on sales because that car wreck is actually a map object. But we can still compare it. This is around where I aimed. Oh. Alright. Interesting. 
it's accurate, yes, but it's not as accurate as I hoped for. Awaiting orders. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's actually the drawing phase is the uh, phase where it, the uh, error comes from or comes from. That's that's it. Now, since we are here, I could actually check it out. Where should it have been then? So, if we go to be really precise, my location is accurate enough. So if I put this here, <laughs> it's not really practical to zoom in all the way here, but I just want to find out myself. And yeah, here we can actually see that it indeed four, two, three, four, D five. It really is around here. So the real <laughs> accurate base point should be always here for the map tools. I guess this uh, little line symbolizes that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's really accurate enough anyway. Uh, that's about it for the map tools. I'll I see if I record something else, but I've got to end this video here now.